Hi Virgo, this is a general love reading for July 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And it is general as always, so it's not going to resonate for all of you. But you can check out one of your other signs if you want, or you can book a personal reading. All that information is in the description box. And the roles can be reversed because this is a general reading. Alright, let's see what's going on with Virgo for the first half of July 2021. Okay, so for your situation, we have <clears throat> the King of Cups crossed by the King of Wands. Okay. There's a lot of love in a specific um, connection here, all right? There's a lot of love. The problem is, or the challenge actually, is in making that happen, in manifesting that, in actually going after it and in overcoming whatever challenges are um, standing in the way of achieving that love. Let's see the recent past, okay? <clears throat> the Seven of Swords and the near future, we have the Nine of Cups. Okay, so this is a situation that I feel somebody has been avoiding. Somebody might have just just constantly been sneaking away from it. Like, that's the essence that I'm getting. Just always just moving in a certain direction, only to turn back the other way. All right, I do see some kind of, some kind of a fulfillment coming up, though. All right, moving towards love in the near future. But let's see what's going on with you here. We have the sun. For them, we have the five of wands. More about you is the Ten of Pentacles. For them, the Queen of Pentacles. And the potential outcome here, we have the High Priestess. Okay, so I feel like you're, you're actually trying to find your own happiness, trying to find your fulfillment. I feel like you're really working on yourself, trying to find your own stability, possibly. Um, this is definitely a connection that you you would want, that you still want. I feel like you do want this to be more stable than it currently is. Possibly a higher level of commitment here. Um, but I also see you really feeling, um, or trying to feel good at the moment with, your, with yourself. For your person here, there's a lot of, there's a lot of um, challenges actually that they're up against. Um, we'll see what that is when we clarify. Um, they're up against a lot of challenges here. I do feel like they're thinking a lot about you. You're right here in their energy. We'll see. We'll see. I do see them, though, or whoever, maybe the both of you, trying to follow your intuition. Trying to follow your intuition here. Trying to really um, align with a higher purpose. Let's clarify. Some of you might be dealing with a Leo, possibly. Um, definitely seeing fire. Fire signs, maybe, in general. But let's see. It doesn't have to be. Let's see the King of Cups with the King of Wands. All right, the Four of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands showing up again. Okay, so I feel like this is this is mostly your person here, okay, that's in this energy of trying to go after what it is that their hearts truly want. Um, again, the love is there. It's all about being able to actually achieve it finding that confidence within themselves in order to move in that direction. I feel like this person has a lot of, a lot of, um, again, just external energy. I feel like this has been showing up a lot um, in previous readings as well. Um, this reading actually reminds me a little bit of, just a little bit of Sagittarius, even though Sagittarius was a little bit on the heavier side. A little heavier than a lot heavier actually than this one but I do I do see a resemblance all right so maybe some of you are dealing with um, a Sagittarius which again would be a, a fire sign it's coming through kind of strongly here 
whatever the case, this person is definitely having a, a pretty difficult time when it comes to knowing where to give their energy. They might be dealing with another situation or some other commitment in their lives, not necessarily a person, it could be a situation. And this other situation might be serving as an obstacle and they just don't know how to actually um, overcome that. Possibly feeling like like they cannot share their energy or that they don't have enough to provide for both situations, okay? Regardless of what that other situation might be. For others, it doesn't it doesn't have to be another situation at all. It's just not feeling like they can provide as much as would be needed to this connection for whatever reason. It might be that this person, you know, you have been giving more than what they have been able to give. And this is something that definitely causes a lot of conflict for them. Because I do, I do see that this person does want stability. This person does want commitment with you. But it's like they're having a hard time actually giving the energy that would be needed for that. At the moment, at least. There's a lot of struggle. I feel like, again, I, it just really comes through to me as... as um, influences and um, interference from the outside as something outside of this connection. Let's clarify the sun, which is in your energy. The three of wands, the eight of pentacles, and the page of cups. You're working hard. I feel like you're working hard, really trying to look into your future and trying to figure out what would be best for you. What is it that is going to bring happiness to you in the future? And you're wanting to put in effort in that direction. I am also getting that you, there's something here that you've been waiting for. You've been waiting possibly a long time and also working really hard to find this happiness or to possibly within this connection. Waiting for this connection to get to that place of, okay, you know, now we can be happy. And just waiting and waiting and waiting, trying really hard for that. And again, I feel like this is, this is an energy that I feel has been a theme um, so far for all the zodiac signs. I feel like you, you're you also in this energy of really expressing yourself, or you already have. It's like, you know, the, you've already told this person how you feel, or you've, you've let them know one way or another. And it's kind of like, well, now it's just really, you know, the ball is in their court kind of a thing. But I feel like you you would be willing to have this commitment with them if they were to step forward in the right way as this King of Wands. Let's see what's going on with them. Let's clarify the Five of Wands. All right, the High Priestess, the World, and the Page of Wands. Okay, so here's the thing with them. There's this, there's, it's, it's almost like there's this war going on between their intuition and between something else that's in their physical world, something in their environment, um, something in their life that needs to end. And I feel like, you know, their intuition is telling them, you know, you need to close this out. Like, this needs to be over. This chapter is done. Your lessons are learned. And I feel like this person, you know, even though they're feeling um, conflicted here because there's a clash between these two energies, their intuition is telling them that, but it's like they're still experiencing that influence. 
almost like they, they have a hard time closing that chapter out or blocking these people or these energies, whatever, whatever it might be, out. Almost like they're still giving to that. Even though it's something that is not that is not serving them, it's actually going against their intuition. With the Page of Wands being here, I feel like they might be taking that first step. Um, it, but it's more like being like, okay, you know, maybe I can do this. Maybe I can overcome this. Maybe there is another way around it. Maybe I don't have to stay in this situation in the way it is. So I feel like it's this um, just being open to to that concept of, okay, yeah, you know, my intuition is telling me, close that cycle out, be done with it. There is no need for this drama, whatever that is that is happening. All right, having that five of wands twice here. Let's see the queen of pentacles. Three of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups. Definitely a lot of thinking about you, as I said before. Okay, we're having the Six of Cups here. This is a lot of nostalgia, a lot of um, a lot of thinking about the past with you. And I mean, it could be a reconciliation for some of you. Definitely. But I mostly feel like this is, this is your person really missing you at the moment. Um, which is telling me that maybe there is some distance between the two of you. Maybe you have pulled away a little bit. Even though they know how you feel, they know what it is that you would want. There's this longing to have you in their life in a way that would actually be functional. This person has not let go of you. They're still holding on. They're still holding on to this connection and thinking a lot about you. And I do feel like, you know, there is this sense of wanting to make it work. They do want to possibly even make some compromises here. Um, I don't feel like they've actually gone through with it just yet, just because we have this five of wands in their energy as well. Um, and that world card, the, just the way it's coming through to me is, is that it is something that needs to be closed out. But I feel like they're having that that drive they're having that want that desire to make it work and because of that I feel like that is going to lead them to this nine of cups which is um, moving towards their wish towards what it is that they truly want and then having also the high priestess as the potential outcome, which is, you know, what they, <laughs> you know, part of that tug of war, you know, not listening to their intuition, their intuition telling them something that is actually, you know, very challenging for them, whatever it is that the intuition is telling them to close out. Um, that's actually in the potential outcome. So it's a very, very positive outcome to have. Let's see the nine of cups though first. All right, the Wheel of Fortune and the King of Cups. Okay, so this is a shift. There is a, a change of directions here. And again, I, I do feel like it is in relation to having learned some lessons, which is helping them to close out certain cycles. I mean, this could be for you as well, but I'm getting that it is them. All right, because even the, the main situation here is the King of Cups just came through that it is, it is your person here. Okay, so this is moving in the direction of love, allowing things to shift, going with the flow, following their heart again, right? Following your heart would be similar to following your intuition in order to move towards what it is that really does bring them love. Where is the love here? And it is definitely here with you, right? It's the first card out, but the love is definitely there. The emotions are there. The feelings are there. 
It's just a matter of taking action when it comes to ending something else or allowing something to, to resolve, cutting out the drama, cutting out other influences here. Let's see the High Priestess. The Ten of Wands and the Six of Wands, releasing a burden, following one's intuition in order to relieve themselves of some responsibility that maybe is not even theirs to begin with or that is not theirs anymore. That is what this person is moving towards. And I feel like that is happening with a lot of success here. There's victory here. Um, so this energy for the potential outcome, it could be um, a little further out possibly, but definitely I feel like this energy will be noticeable, all right, at some point. All right, Virgo. If this resonated, let's see what your final oracle message is here. All right, and we have the super moon. Emotions are running high. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely, especially for your person here. All right, again, roles can definitely be reversed, but there's definitely a lot of emotions and somebody is trying to really tap into them and actually follow their intuition, follow their heart. All right, Virgo, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.